Hi, this is Gregory Jackson for GrebJack.com. Welcome to my second RPG Maker MV tutorial, which I'm calling Digging Up Secrets. I'm going to show you how to create hidden things the player can discover if he has a shovel. Let's jump right in there, shall we? Click File, then New Project. For name, enter Tutorial 2. For game title, enter Digging Up Secrets, then click OK. Now run up to the store and buy some chips and soda. By the time you get back, the files will have finished copying. For this tutorial, we're going to use a different tile set. Click on Map 001 under Digging Up Secrets on the list to the left, and then select Edit. Under General Settings, open the drop-down menu under Tile Set, select Outside, then click OK. I find that this tool set has a lot of useful elements for what I am demonstrating in this tutorial. We will start by creating an enclosed area. It does not matter which tiles you use. Just be sure to allow plenty of room to do things, as we will be building upon this project in future tutorials. Now it is time to create our shovel. Click the gear icon at the top of the screen to open the database. Select Items, click Change Maximum, Increase to 5, then click OK. Select Item 0005 on the Items list. Under General Settings, set Name to Shovel. Double-click the Empty Icon box. Find and select the icon that looks like a shovel, then click OK. Enter something into the Description field. Set Item Type to Key Item. Set Consumable to No. Set Scope to None. Click OK. Let's go ahead and add the chest containing the shovel. Switch to Event Mode. Right-click the lower right corner within the enclosed area on the map. Mouse over Quick Event Creation. Select Treasure. Click the circle next to Item. Open the drop-down menu and select Shovel. Click OK. We've created our shovel. Now we need to create something to dig up. Right-click another square somewhere within the closed area. Click New. We will now set up this event to check to see if the player has the shovel and then place a hole on the ground after digging up 100 gold. Click New Event Page. The event now has two tabs. Make sure you are on tab 1. Under Conditions, click the checkbox next to Item. Open the drop-down menu next to Item and select Shovel. Double-click the empty box under Image. Here's where we select what the event will look like before using the shovel. We're looking for elements that can be found in the tile sets. Scroll down to the bottom and select Tile Set B. Now select the tile that looks like small rocks and click OK. Technically, we don't have to use an image here. It depends on how hidden you want the buried secret to be. For this first example, I'm demonstrating how you can leave a visual clue to where something might be hidden. It's important to leave the trigger set to Action button for this event, as we don't want the secret to be discovered just by walking over the event. Only an actual click on the spot after the player has the shovel should reveal it. And now it's time to set up the event commands. The first thing we want to do is make the event play a music effect when the gold is discovered. Click the first line under Contents and hit Enter. Now make sure you're on Tab 2. Under Audio and Video, click Play ME. ME stands for Music Effect. Select Mystery and click OK. Now we need to add a Control Self Switch command. Make sure the second line under Contents is selected and then hit Enter. On Tab 1, under Game Progression, Click Control Self Switch. Under Self Switch, select A from the drop down menu. Under Operation, select On, then click OK. Next, we want to make the event add 100 gold to the party. Select the third line under Contents and hit Enter. On Tab 1, under Party, click Change Gold. Under Operation, select Increase. Under Operand, select Constant and set it to 100 then click OK. 
Lastly, we want to add text letting the player know what was discovered. Select the line below the Change Gold command and hit Enter. On Tab 1, under Message, click Show Text. In the Text field, type in what you want the game to display when this secret is dug up. Note the vertical line on the right side of the text window. Any text that goes past this line will be cut off in the game, so make sure you don't cross it. Set Background to Window, set Window to Bottom, click Preview to make sure it looks right, and then click OK. That's it for Tab 1. On Tab 2, click the checkbox next to Self Switch and select A from the drop-down menu next to it. Under Image, double-click the empty box. Scroll down and select Tile Set B. Select the tile that looks like a hole and click OK. Under Options, click the checkbox next to Through, otherwise the player will be stuck in the hole and won't be able to move. There are no event commands for Tab 2. If you open a treasure chest, it remains on the map but open to let the player know that they've searched it already. The hole in the ground just lets the player know that a secret was dug up there. Click OK. Save the project. Now play test the game. <sighs> Oops, we made a mistake. This will happen a lot. Don't sweat it. The rocks don't show up until after getting the shovel. It's an easy fix. Close the playtest. Edit the pile of rocks event. Click the first empty line in the content section and hit enter. On tab 1, under flow control, click conditional branch. On tab 4, select item, set it to shovel, and click OK. Under conditions, uncheck the checkbox next to item. Under Contents, select the Play ME command, hold Shift, and click the Text command. Hit Ctrl X to cut the selected commands. Click the line below if party has shovel. Hit Ctrl V to paste the commands into the conditional branch, then click OK. Now save and run the playtest again. The rocks show up now. Nothing happens if you click on the rocks before getting the shovel. After getting the shovel, if you just walk over the rocks, still nothing happens. When you click on the rocks, you hear the mystery tune and you get the message about finding the gold. And the hole remains persistent after you leave it. Well, that wraps up this tutorial. For grebjack.com, I'm Gregory Jackson.